All right, let's start our tour of the Canon HV20 camcorder. Um, here's where there, a lot of the action happens, folks. This slide switch at the top either switches to camera on or by pressing the green button and sliding the other direction to the play mode. The power light tells you, hey, you have power. Here's the all important start, stop, record switch. Your battery life with the small battery is going to be between 60 and 70 minutes if you are using the LCD panel. So when you're not using the camera, close the panel, switch it off. Even if it's just for a few minutes, it will prolong battery life significantly. This set of controllers here I'll refer to throughout these video tutorials. This is the function button right there. And above it, this is a joystick button. And in the center, it is also a set button or select button. You'll need those to navigate through some of the menus. Turning to the side, there are two switches here that you need to be aware of. Um, auto to program. Most of the time you want to leave it on auto, but sometimes program will be more appropriate. I'll talk about that later on. This switch, don't touch it. Make sure that it is set to the left, to the tape option, not to the card option. If you're trying to record to a card, there's none in there. It just won't work. Trust me. And of course, a couple other things on the side worth noting. This door here opens up the microphone connect connect into the red jack the yellow jack can connect either um, audio out or a headphone you want to make sure that you've switched it to headphones that I'll show you in one of the other tutorials so that works well for you and then this is uh, USB out down here and most importantly folks it's the most basic low-tech feature on the camera it's the strap Make me a happy person. Use the strap like that. Don't carry it like that. Get your hand in the strap. Snug it up if you need to. You'd hate to drop it and have to explain that later. Moving on to the front. Built-in lens cap. Um, Built-in light as well as a flash. Now on this side we've got a couple of other controls. The backlight control. A focus ring and also a force focus button. The focus on this camera is pretty good. You won't find that there's a lot of lag to it. The display button will turn the LCD display on and off. And the light button will turn on the camera light. Don't use it. It will use up a fair amount of batteries and your return in terms of quality of light is limited. It's just not worth it. Better to adjust your shot so that you have better use of available light than to try and use the built-in light. Looking at the bottom, tripod mount. Also, the battery release. Pull down the battery release, slide the battery towards you, the battery's out. To put it in, slide it forward, click it in, make sure that battery release pops up. Now here's the top of the camera. Um, microphone is here. So you want to make sure that that is not obscured or covered up by your hand, by any cloth. You want to make sure that that is available for you to get audio from. Here is the zoom control. Slide it to the left. It's a wide shot. Slide it to the right. It zooms in for telephoto. This button here allows you to take a still image. We're not using the camera cards. Any still images you need, we can grab off of your footage while we're editing. This little flip up deal here flips up. Seems to me it's going to be really easy to lose, so keep an eye on it. This is an accessory shoe where you could mount an external light source or an external mic. Do your best just to keep track of that accessory shoe cover. And this is the top of the control button. This holds the tape itself. 